for the records here. There we go. <laughs> See it. <clears throat> uh, you can see the difference in this right here. Uh, that gum, I forgot what it was. Melling, Mel, Mel, something. Anyway, that's what this was right here. And this is what was on it, the original. Um, I got it somewhere. But I searched the internet until I found one that was identical to the original. And this one apparently just seized up and just locked. And the reason for that is, is because I had to grind all this shit down right here. And I thought I had that shaft. Uh, enough play. It swelled up. And that's what it did. Uh, so we'll put this one in. That's the issue right there was the pump. I was getting 80 pounds of pressure in this thing. God, it's unreal. <laughs> yeah, I probably blew up the uh, thing. I figured that I'd blow this out. I blew this out one time on the very first one I put in, and that was because the guy half-assed put it in there. He didn't put it all the way in like it's supposed to be, which I could take that one out and go buy another one and double-check it because right behind it, there is a port that oils this uh, camshaft right here. So, huh, it just kind of like, did I get it too far? I don't think I got it too far in there, though. Really and truly. But it was, that pump just, 80 pounds pressure. I mean, you sit it at idle, and it was pumping, oh, 45 60 pounds and then when you actually was running 55 miles an hour is 80 plus so she, she was squirting <laughs> oil everywhere <laughs> yeah all right so we'll put this back on and there's really nothing wrong with the gear there's a little play in it, but not that much. It, there's no wobble in it, but now there's up and down play, but there's absolutely no wobble in the gear itself. So, well, 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 we'll put that back on. Hopefully that ain't broke right there. I'll have to stick it down in there and see, make sure that it ain't stripped. It was getting some wear, though, by golly. We'll check it. I gotta double check everything I do now. Shit, it's getting crazy. <laughs> there you have it, guys. That's it. Uh, there's a, there's problem. It just sheared that sucker right in two. <laughs> the answer did. She ain't she ain't get to drive it a week. <laughs> but oh, uh, the oil pan wouldn't fit it. I couldn't get the oil pan to fit down on the side here because this was actually sticking out almost a quarter of an inch. We'll take this one and stick it up here. But you see how that one's made right there? Well, the other one actually come all the way out and stuck past the cap right here. About an eighth of an inch. And that's how much I took off of it. Let's look at it. I got it out of there. Oh, this is time consuming, I'm telling you. It is time consuming. Alright. I'll get down on those two things. There's two of them. There's one. There's one. There we go. Alright. Uh, it's just a matter of tapping it down in there and I'll tap it down. But that is better. The other one stuck out here and I couldn't get the oil pan to go down. It was actually a little bit further, right about there. And that's the reason I ground it down. I couldn't get the oil pan to come down and seal around here. Uh, so before I put that on, 80 pounds pressure, you can see it was just blowing it out, this rear seal here. I'm going to replace the seal, the rear seal. I'm going to double check every one of these bearings in here and make sure I got the oil ports right, which I've already done. I've done that uh, when I tore it apart first time. 
God almighty. <laughs> Merry Christmas. It's the 24th, by the way. It's Christmas Eve. This is what I'm doing. It's just, this is it. <laughs> Alright, y'all enjoy. Peace. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays and all that other good stuff. Bye.